the niche you are making content in is going to determine how much money you're going to make on YouTube. I'm going to start with the most profitable niche on YouTube. Okay. The most paying niche on YouTube. Now, in this niche, someone can easily make a thousand dollars in just a few days. Okay. Someone can easily make ten thousand dollars in just a month with this niche I'm about to tell you. Mm -hmm. I know someone who has made so far. The month is still ongoing. Mm -hmm. Has made 100 million Ugandan shillings mm -hmm. in this month, and the month is still ongoing. That is about 35 do Money 35 thousand US dollars. Okay, so please <laughs> don't make all and of us start. <laughs> and it's not someone <laughs> in the developed world. Yeah, is around us here, oh. and has so far made yeah. that money. But wow. when you see this person, you won't believe it. Wow. There are some people who make videos and mm -hmm. they get a hundred views. And others make mm -hmm. videos, they get a thousand views. Mm -hmm. But the one who has a hundred views makes more money than, than one, one who has... one who has made one thousand. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you will find that some niches, mm -hmm. the CPM is around fifty dollars, one hundred dollars. Sometimes it goes up to two hundred dollars. For example, mm -hmm. during the Christmas season, mm -hmm. starting from October, even the least paying, mm -hmm. they all go up a little now bit. Now I'm excited. <laughs> you know when we start talking about money? <laughs> okay. During the festival season yeah. around there, mm -hmm. the CPMs usually go high. And why? It's because people are spending money. People are getting ready for the spending festivities. Season, yeah. Also psychologically, during mm -hmm. the festive season, mm -hmm. people's minds are geared mm -hmm. towards spending. Mm, the festivities. Yes. So many people actually spend because of excitement. So this is when advertisers go aggressive. Now, why does the revenue increase? Because they're all bidding for space to advertise on every video. Yeah. That's why when there is the competition, when there is high demand for something, usually, what? The prices are hiked. Exactly. Yeah. Another reason why some niches make more money than the others mm. is the monetization options. Okay. Opportunities. Mm -hmm. For instance, if someone makes a video about drop shipping, mm -hmm. a video about education, mm -hmm. a video about what they can easily come up with a, a product and they sell it. Mm -hmm. They tell you, I'm selling this course, I'm selling this, I'm selling this. Mm, yeah. Related to the topic they are teaching they are you. They talking about, yes. You've come, you want to learn forex trading. I have a book, a course I designed about forex trading. A book, is goes, it goes for $10. Mm. Now imagine if 100 people buy that book. That's $1,000. Yeah. Hmm? Apart from the video monetizing, they're also earning from their products as More well. More monetization opportunities. Wow, that's quite interesting. Unlike yes. someone who does comedy. Yeah. So are you going to design a course about comedy? <laughs> no, not really. Not really. No. Guys, <laughs> if you want to be a comedian like me, mm -hmm. I've but designed I've seen, a course. I've seen people who actually It is very rare. Yes. It is very rare yes. compared to guys who make this content and this. Mm. You, can, you well, cannot easily convert these people into sales. Mm than the guy who makes content about man over what. Mm. Also, on the other channels, which mm. do educational stuff, content, tech reviews, what, mm. they can easily make money in affiliate marketing. Definitely, yeah. Mm. Than someone who makes an entertainment video, a music video, mm. a comedy video. Mm. It is very hard for you to put an affiliate link and people, and click, people click and go and buy the product. Mm. Unlike someone who has reviewed a product, mm -hmm. they say, if you want to buy this, mm -hmm. click on the link below. Yeah. You don't know that when you click on the link, they actually get, get some, a commission. Of course, yes. they, you're not going to be overcharged. Mm. They just make commission from the sale. Yeah. You, the buyer, you are not overcharged. Hello friends and welcome back to another interesting video. My name is Karunji Josephine and I'm so glad to have you here. If this is your first time, you are welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you too for coming back to watch today's video. Mm. Yes, now in today's video, we are hosting a very special person. It's not the first time to have him on this platform and I'm so glad that when I invited him, he actually accepted <laughs> to come back again and share with us YouTube knowledge. Yep. Yes, the last time that he was here, he actually shared with us his 
content creation journey and in today's video he's going to be sharing with us more about niches what is a niche what are the most profitable niches here on youtube like we're going to be getting more deep into that serious bit of YouTube mm. and how to actually be able to monetize and make more money from our talents, our passions, our purpose, you know, more into that. Mm. So I can't wait, you guys. Let's welcome Mr. Yuji Connect on this platform. You are yeah. welcome. Thank you. It's quite a pleasure to have you back here. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for also accepting to come and share with my audience. Yeah. Uh, first of all, guys, I really feel so excited whenever I invite someone I know, because mm. like we we like I usually interview some people, but sometimes you meet someone for the first time and you're just creating that interview there and then. Mm. But the fact that I've shared part of your knowledge, like I've seen the things you have done, and I'm like, you know what? We need to share this knowledge to mm. my audience as well. Yep. So it's quite a pleasure to have you kindly introduce yourself to. Our well, audience. it's also a pleasure for me to be back on your platform once again. Thank you so much yeah. for the invitation. And uh, I would like to welcome everyone who has tuned in. Yeah. Today we are going to be talking about the most important uh, topic, uh, YouTube niches. Because this is what yeah. determines how much money you're going to be making on YouTube. Yeah. For those who are looking at making, making money. money. You know, yeah. some people start you do YouTube just for, for fun, fun some, as a hobby. Which is okay. But some, some also, of us are there to chase the dollar. Yeah. <laughs> also, some are here to actually document yeah. their lives. Yes. Yeah. But before you take us into that, please mm. allow me ask you why YouTube? Because there are so many other platforms. Mm. Like, why did you decide YouTube? Because... Uh, according to how we heard about your journey, by the way, guys, if you haven't watched that interview that I had earlier with Mr. Yuji Connect, yep. I'm going to be linking it in the description so that you go and watch it. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. So why YouTube? We why? have Instagram, we have hmm. Facebook, we have, you know, we have so many different platforms that actually people can be on and, you know, monetize. Hmm. But why YouTube? Well, I think the answer is simple. Mm hmm YouTube is the most paying platform, <laughs> really? social media platform right now. Uh -huh. And I think it has always been ever since the era of social media platforms. Yeah, when it comes to also serious Monet content. Yeah, monetize, monetization. Mm. Mm. First of all, the ad revenue is a bit high compared to other platforms. Yeah. And also the monetization opportunities mm. are more on than YouTube other than platforms? other platforms. Oh, really? Because on YouTube you can monetize, I think in like six different ways. You can make money in six different ways using a YouTube channel. Even if you are not yet monetized, mm. you even can if you have not yet reached the, yeah, the thresholds for monetization, you can still make money through other avenues. Yeah. So that's, the, that's why YouTube stands out of all other platforms. And also, being a YouTuber sounds a bit... More, it has, has has more weight compared to being a TikToker <laughs> and Instagram. I'm being honest. Definitely, no, you're yeah, right. You're yeah, right. Yeah, because mm. uh, trust me, like there's so many people earning a living. Mm. So many people I've seen like who quit their jobs mm -hmm. just to concentrate on exactly becoming content creators here on exactly. YouTube, and that way, like it makes it more special. Mm. So actually, before you, you continue, even me. Mm. Quitting my job, I first watched many videos of content creators mm. who quit their jobs and started traveling the world and, you were like, and started doing content, mm -hmm. just sit down videos like this. Yeah. Like there is a lady called, I think, Erin on Demand. Mm. Uh, she does content like you, uh, money content, finance, uh, topics, business. teaching people business. Yeah. There is Eva Zubek. Mm. She quit her job. There is fearless and far. Mm. There is bold and bankrupt. So many, so many. Many of them have yeah. had. I had their stories during yeah. those days when I was just starting up, and I was like, I think I this is something. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So when it comes to creating content, we are talking about here on on YouTube. Mm. Like, 
someone could be there, they have their camera set, or maybe they have even already started, mm. but they're like, what should I upload? Because there's so many things like you see on YouTube, mm. people doing couple content, people doing finances, people doing business, people doing mm. travel, vlogs, like someone would really want to do them all since people are watching, mm. you get. Mm. But then you realize that if you do like everything, sometimes you get lost mm. on the way. And that is what brings us to niches, like niching down mm. to what exactly you would like your audience to actually watch. Mm. And that is why I wanted you to share with us. Mm. What is a niche? A niche. Yes. Now, I would define a niche as a topic or subject mm. content creators make videos about on their channels. Yes. Targeting their audience's particular interest. In simple terms, I don't want to complicate it yeah. because I believe this video is watched by a lot of beginner, yes. beginner YouTubers. Yes. So in simple terms, it's like that. Mm. You do a specific type of content catering for your audience's your kind of interest. Audience. Mm. I think you've seen channels mm. which make a given type of content. This channel makes finance videos. Yes. This channel makes travel, travel. videos. Mm. This channel makes this. Mm. This channel makes this. Yeah. So that is what we call a niche. Yeah. And if that creator brings in another type of content, mm. is most likely to lose the existing audience mm. because mm. they subscribed to the channel because of, of the this. Kind of content and you're bringing you in this. Though sometimes you can have a channel which has everything, and still it has. Mm. It depends on how. You have built the Your channel. audience, you yes. How you've built the audience. Yeah, yeah. So we shall talk about it later on in the video. Okay. Yeah. That is quite interesting because I'm also learning, guys. Mm. <laughs> Especially when you're starting to create content, you would really love to, you know, like put up something that ev like people are going to watch. Mm -hmm. Apart from actually making money on YouTube, mm. we are also looking at something that you are passionate about, mm. something that you're not actually faking mm. just because you want to make money. Yes. Something that is, I feel like, something that you are called to do, mm. eh? like your purpose, your calling. Mm. You are doing it freely, like you are not forcing it. Mm. And I feel like it's easier that way. Do you mm. think a niche could be attached to your calling? Is it really true or it is just my, <laughs> my mindset? I would say yes. Okay. Because anything you do with mm. your passion, with love, mm. with dedication, always the success rate is high it always works out yeah so me i feel like if you're operating within your calling things are going to work out if you're making content within your calling yeah. things are going to work out now people think mm. now when, when you go on the spiritual bit of it people mm. think that having a calling means you have to be in charge mm. what we have different callings in different fields of life definitely yes Definitely, yeah. God knew that at a certain point mm. in time, there will be the internet. Yeah. And he created us, those who are going to be in this era, mm -hmm. to fulfill... A certain purpose. A certain purpose. Yes. So most of us are on YouTube mm. working within our purposes. Yeah. You get People make content empowering mm. people inspiring people mm. counseling helping people's people. lives to be better yes helping mm. marriages mm. they are within their calling yeah so me i think it, it is, is attached it is okay yeah. so take us through what are these niches or oh, the because, niches yeah because i i am very sure someone is asking now that i've got to know mm. what a niche is what are these niches that are on youtube now mm. A niche is going to determine how much money you are going to, to make on YouTube. For those who didn't know, let me repeat this. Okay. The niche you are making content in is going to determine how much money you're going to make on YouTube. There are some people who make videos and mm. they get 100 views. And the others make mm. videos, they get 1,000 views. Mm -hmm. But the one who has 100 views make, makes more money than, than one, one who has... one who has made 1,000. Yes. 
are you for real? Yes. Like, take us through. How is that I'm sure possible? You. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> what, like, according to what I think, yes. I think the more views, the more money. Because we feel like when people watch your video, like, so many of them, there are factors which are influence that. Yeah, but we are going to be talking about that part. Mm. Like, why is it that there are some niches that are earning higher money mm. than others? Mm. But first, take us through the niches because <laughs> <laughs> we might want see, to. <laughs> I can see you're asking a lot of questions. Yeah, we I'm might going to first to answer the first question yes. the different niches we have on YouTube. Okay. Now, all the things I'm going to be discussing here are things I've learned over time okay. for the years I've been on YouTube. So I'll be discussing things according to my experience because mm, I've tried them. Yes. I've tried them I've, and I've learned them the hard way. As I always say, me, mm. I'm a self-made YouTuber. Everything, I've learned it the hard way. And I'll be giving you spot-on information. Okay. Now, mm. I'm going to start with the most profitable niche on YouTube. Okay. The most paying niche on YouTube. Now, in this niche, someone can easily make a thousand dollars in just a few days. Okay. Someone can easily make ten thousand dollars in just a month with this niche I'm about to tell you. Mm -hmm. And this niche is about finance and investment. Now, that's a broad topic or a broad niche. Yeah. There are sub niches under. Under it. Under it. Mm. Now, every person you see making videos about money. Money. Mm -hmm. About investment, mm -hmm. about saving, about business, mm. about what? That niche. Investments, Investment, finance, generally finances, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. That niche has a fat CPM. What is a CPM? Now, CPM. <laughs> please use the language we understand. <laughs> In simple terms, okay. CPM mm. is cost per mile. Okay. As per the definition provided by YouTube, mm -hmm. post cost per mile or cost per 1,000 views. So it means how much money advertisers are willing to, to pay, pay to appear on your videos. For every 1,000 views. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that is where YouTubers actually make more money, right? Yeah. So finance mm. and investment videos are the most paying videos. You'll find a content creator who makes videos about money, finances, mm. and they have very few views mm -hmm. for you. They are bragging, you're making videos in the least paying niche, mm. and they're making more money like you, they are silent. Like more money than you. Yes, I know someone. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to mention them, but I know someone <laughs> who has made, so far, the month is still ongoing, mm -hmm. has made... 100 million Ugandan shillings mm -hmm. in this month, and the month is still ongoing. You know, money excites me. I don't know who doesn't <laughs> love money. <laughs> you guys, money <laughs> excites a lot of people. I don't know about you who is watching. <laughs> Kindly let us know in the comment section. Yeah, when it comes to making money, like investments and all that, like I am really passionate about things concerning business and making money. Yeah, so. Does it really mean that all of us should do finance content since it is the most high, like, paying? Well. <laughs> because we all can't do the same thing even if we really want to make money. Yeah. Mm. YouTube is like a lake. Okay. Everyone can come, get any amount of water they want and they will go. The lake will stay. You get? But mm. it is always better mm. to do what you're passionate about. Yeah. Because you, you now you've had that people are making money in money yeah, content. Because you come rushing, yeah, you so make many videos, and, and they don't get views at all. Yes, you get it. Mm. So you have to do what you're passionate about, or develop a skill over mm. time, so you can be able to go in to any niche about, you want to switch yes. to any niche you want. Because there are YouTubers who have ten YouTube channels, yeah. and each channel belongs to a certain niche. Yes, that means that they can games. easily switch from this niche to the other. Yeah. For instance, even me, I'm chasing the dollars as well. Mm. I'm switching. Mm -hmm. One of my channels, I'm trying to switch it to the money side. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so mm. let's not waste so much time. I mm. think we are done with finance and okay. investment. You know money excites us. Mm. Okay, that is one niche, right? Yes, that is Give the us most another paying one. niche. Okay. Yes. Mm. Now, the second most paying niche mm. is a niche under education okay 
all the educational videos you see on YouTube. As education, long as there is educational value in that video. Like you mean teaching someone something? Yes. Okay. So is that where we also see these funny videos where people make videos of how to cook water? Yes. <laughs> Is that also educational? As long as there is an educational value. <laughs> really? Now, some of those videos are categorized under entertainment. Okay. Because I think you've been on YouTube and they bring you mm. uh, some questions asking you what you feel about this that information. Video, yes. What topic do you think this video belongs to? Yes. So that's how YouTube categorizes them. Certain after, videos. After different surveys, getting feedback from different viewers. Eh? Yeah. But there are videos which are straightforward. For instance, yeah. a video in case uh, this mobile phone mm. gets a fault and I show people how to repair it, that's a straightforward video. Okay. It's educational. There is educational value. Yeah, you're teaching people how uh, to repair something. Exactly. Yes. But a video of how to cook water, it is more of curiosity. What happens when you but cook water? But you're teaching people. <laughs> Because you know what, I've seen that kind of video. It's it has so it's many... therapeutic. Yes, it has so many. It's just views. satisfying seeing that happening. Yeah, and <laughs> I think people view it because they're curious. Yes. What is so special about how to boil an egg? <laughs> but it is educational, right? Yeah. Okay, take us. It is education, through. but as I've told you, sometimes mm. YouTube categorizes it according to the feedback of people. Yeah. But there are other videos which are straightforward. Mm. So. Any video educating people about finances, mm. educating people about you know real education, mm. people who actually do um, trainings, mm -hmm. uh, people who do tutorials. Tutorials mm. is that also educational? Yeah, tutorials. Okay, are educational. so people who also do like teaching people different subjects mm -hmm. online. Here we have tutors mm -hmm. of different... Online teachers. Yeah, online teachers. Especially Indians. Indians. So many of them. <laughs> Our Indian brothers have turned YouTube into a university. Definitely. <laughs> we actually call it our little <laughs> university. Yeah. Sometimes Indians explain topics better than lecturers. That's true. On YouTube. Yeah. So, educational videos. Number two, mm. our next most paying niche on YouTube is tech reviews. Okay. Reviewing latest gadgets. gadgets. Yeah. Tech reviews, mobile mm. phones, mm. cars, what, anything. To do with technology. Technology. Yeah. Tech reviews. Mm. That niche is also fat. It has okay. a fat CPM. Mm. So, uh, gaming, DIY crafts and home improvement. Travel and lifestyle. Mm. Uh, there are many others. Mm. Many those other ones, niches. Yeah, mm. Those niches, usually the CPM is almost the same. I'm not going to mention them because the CPM sometimes is almost the same. Yeah. This is according to my experience because, hey, I've tried everything on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to say you've tried all the niches? <laughs> mm? Yes, I think I've tried all the niches on YouTube. Okay. I've tried reviews, I've tried traveling, Travel. I've tried tutorials, how-tos, money as well. Mm. Now, my first money channel, I sold it. Okay. Yeah, I sold it. By the way, if there is anyone interested in buying a YouTube channel, you can reach out to me. Mm -hmm. those, those who yeah, don't want to yeah. actually start from zero. Yes. Yeah. You can reach out to me. I sell monetized channels because I also build the channels and sell. But hey, my channels don't come cheaply because I invest in a lot of time. Yeah. Sometimes guys come and they are giving you mm. $500, $1,000 mm. and you put in your time to build yeah. a YouTube channel. Okay. Yes. So since you have told us about the most paying niches, mm. right? You have talked about most of the niches. What about the least ones? Eh? And this is not to actually discourage those who are currently doing those niches, yeah. but it is to educate and then let them know how they can actually like uh, maximize and make more money out of those low-paying niches, right? Mm. So what are those low-paying niches? Now, the least paying niches, mm. I'm going to give you one. Okay. Because as I told you earlier, the others are almost the same in between there. Mm -hmm. From the first ones mm. to this when I'm going to be telling you, mm. others are in the middle there, almost the CPM is always the same. Okay. Now, this is entertainment. Entertainment is a broad niche or topic. Definitely. I'm not saying that guys who make entertainment videos don't make money. Okay. 
but they make the, li the least amount of money when it comes to CPM. But, but the good thing with uh -huh. entertainment videos, they uh -huh. usually get a lot of views. Yeah. That's how guys make, make money. money. Oh, wow. And also, they are always consistent. Yeah. Those who entertainment videos, you always see those who do mm. comedy. Mm. They are always consistent. They release yeah. videos every week. They release videos almost three times some a week. Some of them every day. Every day. Yes. You get? Mm. But you find someone who does tutorials, mm. he releases a video in like a month or mm. twice a month or once in a quarter. Mm. Yeah. I'm forgetting the name of this guy who makes tutorials. Mm. He makes tutorials assembling computers, engineer making solar solar panels making a lot of co sophisticated things and those videos usually take a lot of time yeah designing screens mm. computers portable computers what so such videos take a lot of time mm. but get, he makes money out makes of money mm. he posts one video a month that video gets over 20 million views 50 wow. million views guy makes Entertainment. Entertainment videos, comment videos, mm. they get, okay, the same amount of views mm. or even more, but this guy will still make more money than this one of, of entertainment. Okay, so... Because of the CPM. Okay. Yeah. That is quite surprising because me, I thought people who do entertainment actually earn more. Because mm. when you look at comedy content, it has a lot of views, just like you've said. You, when you look at music videos, like artists mm. that always upload their music videos on YouTube here, like they get a lot of views. Mm. Really? Does that mean that... <laughs> they, make, they make money, mm -hmm. but not compared to someone mm. who oh. makes, who is in finance and investment. Let me give you an example. Oh. You make finance and investment videos mm. and make entertainment mm. videos. Your video has 1,000 views. Mm. Mine has 1,000 views. Mm. You are most likely to make $100 mm -hmm. of the 1,000 views. And me, I'll make like 5 or $2. That's very low. You see the difference? Yeah. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. But mm. because entertainment gets a lot of views and these guys are consistent, at the end of the month, they you have a up, big check. Yes, you end up making almost the same Not money. Not almost the same. Mm. Okay, sometimes almost the same if you go hard, yeah. the guy in entertainment. Mm. But usually it is totally different. You can't catch up with guys well, who make finance and investment videos and yeah. uh, they are consistent. Those guys make some good amount of money. Okay. Well, this is not to discourage people who are planning to do entertainment. Mm. So the only way they can really be able to maximize and make more money is by being consistent mm. and going hard mm. in entertainment. Yeah. What makes entertainment have low CPM? Well, it, in entertainment, there are not many advertisers. Okay. Good paying advertisers want to advertise on videos which provide value okay you get yeah educational content. value content mm. much as sometimes mm. you might get a high level advert on an entertainment video that is because you are youtube is following your interest for instance i love doing forex trading i'm into forex trading i'm just learning forex trading guys mm. Even if I'm watching an entertainment video, they are going to place a forex trading ad, ad on mm. top of the video I'm watching, even if it's a comment video. Mm. But those adverts are usually found on tutorial videos or finance and investment videos. Definitely, yeah. Mm. You get? Mm. But they are putting it here because of my interest. Mm. The, the one who is watching the video. Yes. Okay. But if... I've never searched anything to do with money mm. or forex trading mm. and I watch an entertainment video, the kind of ads which are going to be displayed there are ads about games. <laughs> different, different Games, ads. Candy Crush, what? Mm. I think you've seen such adverts. Yeah, yeah. Now those adverts pay peanuts. Wow. There is no money it on is those good. ads. It is good to have this knowledge, guys. Yeah. Because, yeah, especially if you're looking at having uh, content creation as your job mm. or your side hustle because... There are so many people here who want to come on YouTube and make money, like serious money. Mm. Those are the kind of people we are talking about, right? Yes. Yeah. But also, mm. uh, it depends on where people are watching from. 
where is your audience located? Yeah, wait. And <laughs> wait. Hmm. So you mean also the location affects how much money you are going to earn in a exactly. particular niche? Exactly. Okay. I think we are going to talk about that later on. Let me not spoil the, mm. the what? <laughs> spill the tea. <laughs> yeah, spill the tea. Eh. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you mean actually our location, okay, the location of your viewers or your audience also determines mm. yeah, the amount of money. Matters a lot. Okay. Matters a lot because YouTube values uh, viewers from, or viewership from the developed world than from Africa and Southeast Asia. Why? Why? <laughs> you mean you mean for us we're not valued? We're yeah, not that because much valued? they have money, they have dollars to spend. Okay. They can easily access money. Even if someone doesn't have money, they can borrow money. But you can also and do like that. Here, Is it because they are more developed countries than it's us? It's because they can easily spend money. It's all about money. Okay. You get? Mm. Here in Africa, it is very hard for someone to buy something they have advertised. They Online. just they just fight on skipping the ad. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, this one is delaying. <laughs> okay? Yeah. But in the developed world, people understand, oh, mm. this guy is making content. Some even go a mile mm -hmm. and donate some money because under every monetized channel, mm, as long as you, as long as you enable super chats and super thanks, mm. people can super chat you. Yeah. They can thank you for the work. video. Yeah. You find on the soup, it usually uh, a heart with a dollar sign in the middle. Yeah. Someone clicks there and donates fifty dollars, twenty dollars, ten dollars, mm. just to thank you for the content because they have found value in that. You get so wow. people in the in the developed world in the Western mm. countries can easily spend money because even if someone doesn't have cash, mm. they can they have access to credit. Yeah. Yeah, now here true. someone is struggling with finding food hey. and you're telling them <laughs> to do that. Eh? Yeah. So YouTube values mm. them more than us here and mm. people in the Middle East mm. and some Asian countries. Okay. Yeah. So that audience is way much valued than yeah. here in Africa. Yeah. Okay, so there is this other last question about niches. Mm. What makes the niche pay more money than the other? Okay, there are many factors mm -hmm. which come into play. Mm. Uh, for instance, advertiser demand. Okay. As I told you earlier, mm. some niches attract well-paying advertisers than others. Okay. For instance... So, le let me just cut you short a little bit. You mean when someone wants to advertise their product, they, they can also decide on what kind of videos they should actually yes. appear or their ad should appear on? Mm. Oh, that is good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if uh, forex trading guys are uh, marketing forex trading, mm -hmm. they will target forex trading channels. Mm. Or people who talk about money. Yeah, money, investment, mm -hmm. what? Mm. They will not target entertainment. That's you true. get? Yeah. So f these videos attract high paying advertisers. Definitely. So that's what we talk, that's what we mean when we say advertiser demand. Mm. Many advertisers are competing, mm. especially those who are selling financial stuff, related mm. stuff. Products. They target mm. such content creators or such channels mm. because they know these people are interested in making money in finance-related stuff. Mm. And they are willing to like seriously spend. Yeah. Okay. So, let me give you another example. Advertisers mm. do not want to advertise on videos which make people feel sad. Mm. You get? For instance, a video. I'm not saying that these videos don't make money. They, they will just have less ads. Even YouTube shows you that this video is not suitable for all adverts. Okay. For, like instance, when you're going for, to... for instance, a sad video. Mm. A video that has violence in it. A video which has uh, adult materials. Mm. is not going to attract the same number of adverts like another video which is just purely about entertainment or educational value. They limit adverts on some videos and also some advertisers mm. don't want to target such such kind of audience. Kind of content mm. of our audience watching. Mm. Yeah. Well that is also an eye open, especially for people who like to place adverts on YouTube here. You actually have a choice on where your ad should mm. appear mm. like 
where you want your kind of adverts, your your the kind of audience yes. to watch your ad. Mm. Yeah, that is quite good, especially yeah. for business owners. Mm. Yeah, that is that is something good. Yeah, another reason why some niches make more money than the others mm. is the monetization options, okay. opportunities. Mm -hmm. Because if a guy is, for instance, if someone makes a video about drop shipping, mm -hmm. a video about education, mm. a video about what they can easily come up with a, a product and they sell it. Mm. They tell you, I'm selling this course, I'm selling this, I'm selling this. Mm, yeah. Related to the topic they are teaching you. They are talking you. about, yes. You've come, you want to learn forex trading. I have a book, a course I designed about forex trading. A book, is goes, it goes for $10. Mm. Now imagine if 100 people buy that book. That's $1,000. Yeah. Hmm? Apart from the video monetizing, they're also earning from their products as More well. More monetization opportunities. Wow, that's quite interesting. Unlike yes. someone who does comedy. Yeah. So are you going to design a course about comedy? <laughs> Not really, not really. Yeah. Guys, if yeah. you want to be a comedian like me, mm. I've but I've seen, I've seen people who actually it is very do that. rare. Yes. It is very rare yes. compared to guys who make this content and this. Mm. You can you well, cannot easily convert these people into sales mm. than the guy who makes content about money over what. Mm, you get it? Eh? Yeah. So monetization opportunities. Also on the other channels which mm. do educational stuff, content, tech reviews, what. Mm they can easily make money in affiliate marketing. Definitely, yeah. Mm. Than someone who makes an entertainment video, a music video, mm. a comedy video. Mm. It is very hard for you to put an affiliate link and people, and click, people click and go and buy the product. Mm. Unlike someone who has reviewed a product, mm -hmm. they say, if you want to buy this, mm -hmm. click on the link below. Yeah. You don't know that when you click on the link, they actually get, get some, a commission. Of course, yes. they, you're not going to be overcharged. Mm. They just make commission from the sale. Yeah. You the buyer, you are not overcharged. You see what I mean? Yes. Another one is the demograph, the kind of people you are targeting. Now, I hinted about that uh, previously. Mm -hmm. The demograph, the location of where people are watching from. Your audience. The age mm. of people oh. watching. Also that Even market. the age. Yeah. And where we are going, they will also... Determine the level of education. And that will also de determine Guys, what kind of what kind of advert get displayed to them. They know your level of intellect. These platforms mm. know a lot of things about, about us. us. That's true. You get? Mm. So they know your IQ levels. Mm. So where we are going, they will be displaying adverts depending. Mm. I think they are already doing it. Yeah. Depending okay. on your educa educational qualifications. Yes. <laughs> and to a creator, that yes. translates into money. Definitely. If your content targets the right people, mm. high-value people, you're going to make more money. <laughs> 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 now, also, mm. now, in, in, in the demograph, mm. it includes the location, the age, the language. Mm. Now, if you're making content, for instance, here, as here in Africa, if you make content in a local language, mm. it will make... a Little money compared to someone who makes content in English. We can do the same content, mm. the same topic, but in different languages. And me who has done that content in English will make more money than you. Why? Because the language, mm -hmm. English, attracts m m better more advertisers. Yeah. More and better paying advertisers, adverts or advertisers. Okay, so does that mean that the, like, the language you speak actually limits your kind of audience? Because not everyone is going to understand your local language, yes. right? Yes. Wow. <laughs> you that, yeah. But I'm not saying mm. that if you make content in your local language, you're you not going get, to make it. Yeah. There are people who have become rich. But it rich. limits your audience. That's, yeah. There that's are people true. who have become rich mm. doing content in their local languages. Mm, yeah. And I think you know some of them. Yes, yes. So on YouTube, everyone has a chance of making money. Yeah. But if you want to maximize... Mm. That's why we are making these videos. Eh? Yeah. You, you do content in English, in yeah. languages which are spoken widely. Wild, worldwide, around, yes. Yeah, worldwide. Worldwide, yes. You get it? Eh? Mm. So, I, talk, uh, I think I'm done with that. Mm. So the last one will be, is your content evergreen? The content you're making. Mm -hmm. For instance... What do you mean by evergreen? <laughs> content which remains relevant for 
a longer time. Okay. Like you mean even after some good years it yes. will still be relevant. People yes. will still watch it. Yes. Then this uh, this kind of content which is like viral, mm -hmm. something like that. Viral like following news. trends, news. Oh. Yes. Okay, so I so, didn't know that. Evergreen content mm. will make you money over a long period of time. Always, 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 mm. it will be making money because people will be discovering that video or that content. It is relevant even after five years, ten years. Well, ma, that is where people actually are able to make money even after they have retired from making content creation. Making money on autopilot. You get. I think you've seen those videos. How to make money on YouTube while sleeping. Sleeping, definitely. <laughs> that is it. On autopilot. Yeah. Because if evergreen you're doing content. evergreen content, even if you stop creating content on yeah. YouTube, yeah. your video is going to still, I mean, your content is going to be still suggested to different people because it is evergreen. But if you jump on a trend, mm. the trend is going to, to get over. last like, for about a month. Yeah. And then? It will disappear. Yeah. So I think you've talked about most of the niches. I mm. think you guys have noted them down. Mm. I would like you to also help us answer a question that someone actually put in one of the comments in our previous interview we had. Mm. That is it possible for someone to build a channel, a YouTube channel, and monetize it without showing their faces? Because there's possible. yeah, there's some people who wouldn't like to like show their faces, but when they would like to actually start making money, they mm. passive income here on mm. YouTube as well. Mm. What do you have to say about that? It's a hundred percent possible, and let me tell you, mm. some of the richest YouTubers. Apart from Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> you guys but know Mr. Beast. Uh -huh. Some of the richest YouTubers mm. have faceless YouTube channels. Really? Yeah. Okay, so what kind of content do they do? You can do any kind of content. Without but showing your face? Yes. And you, you can monetize do review it? Video. Yeah, and you monetize it. Okay. Yeah. Like what kind of niches can someone do without showing their faces? Any niche. Traveling, Come on, you can't teach people traveling. finances without showing them because... <laughs> there are channels, there are channels uh -huh. which do that without showing their faces. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Traveling, you can travel without showing your face. You just record what's happening. Mm. And make money? I've seen such videos. Tutorials. You can make tutorials without mm. showing your face. Okay. You get so in I think in every niche mm, it's possible to do it without your face. Yeah. If you don't want to, that is for someone who was asking a question. Yeah. Yeah. So it is very very possible. Oh wow. They are called faceless YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we shall come back here and talk about how to make money with faceless YouTube, YouTube channels. channels. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so you guys have got it now. The questions have been answered. If you would like to start creating content, sit down and then strategize on what kind of niche mm. you would like to settle into mm. and then what exactly you are passionate about. Yeah, I think for today, let's end there. I think we shall come back in another video. If they have a question, they can leave it. I think we have exhausted the niches bit of it. If you have yeah. any more questions, mm. kindly let them like leave them in the comment section. You're going to be making this into series, especially about content creation. Mm. If you'd like to know more about content creation here on YouTube, mm. we shall be spilling the tea. Yep. And yes, Mr. UG Connected has accepted to be coming here and sharing this information. What a pleasure. As long as you're giving me some dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what a pleasure. Because guys, eh, <laughs> like we learn new things every day and it is a pleasure to learn from someone who has experienced these things. Yep. And like you can see them working, like mm. you, you're seeing them mm. with your eyes. That is quite an uh, opportunity. Thank you so much. Mm. And thank you for sharing the knowledge you've shared with us You're today. You're most welcome. Yeah. Uh, any last words to our viewers? Get that phone. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a camera, record content. Anything is content. Everything you come across is content. Yeah. If you're looking for content, be creative. Yeah. Capture, upload, and you learn on the job. That's the beauty with YouTube. Yeah. Mm. And the good thing, as we've talked about, niches discover something you're passionate about. Mm. Don't do things because you've heard it's making money, mm. because you've heard it is the most 
the most paying niche mm. <laughs> do something that you're passionate about something that you love something mm. that you're not going to fake mm. doing because you've seen so many content creators faking to do something mm. like they are not passionate about mm. yeah that wow. is quite interesting mm. yeah i think from us guys it's a bye bye, bye, -bye. thank you for watching mm. kindly subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you in the next video, video.